Okay, this part we will talk about the difference between meaning of temporary different and permanent different. Since we have already know that the calculation of the net profit is as the assumption for the calculation for accounting and for tax, which is different purpose. So uh, we have to find out that the difference between accounting and tax in such item that we found is will be permanent different or temporary different. Permanent different and temporary different is will be effect is will affect to their calculation of the corporate income tax in such uh, in such accounting period. So we have to identify that is this permanent or temporary. As you know that the view of the revenue and expense is has a different for the calculation between accounting and tax that I have already shown you for the for this this item that uh, the revenue sometimes is maybe the revenue in accounting but it's not be revenue in tax such as the exemption of the tax for the dividend that we have already discussed about the condition of the dividend for uh, criteria to exempt the corporate income tax okay or in case in some case the expense is can be the expense in accounting but it's not be the expense in tax or it can be the expense in tax with the limitation because some kind of the expense uh, the government uh, the law the revenue code uh, give the condition for the maximum deduction or some kind of the expense is has the privilege for the double deduction or the it has a benefit of uh, in addition additional deduction so we have to find out that in each item is this the permanent or temporary permanent difference is mean that the difference that make the income or expense effect in the calculation of the corporate income tax by uh, is never be the income or the expense in the view of the tax permanently even in any accounting period for the temporary difference it will be the meaning of the item which is the difference that tax recognize as income or expense too but it may be in different period different accounting period so uh, this difference will be adjusted in the calculation in such accounting period which the uh, criteria for tax recognition is fulfilled so uh, for example of the temporary difference such as depreciation depreciation is the uh, mechanism of the recognition of the expense which is amortized from the asset which can be depreciated according to the useful life that we estimate in the accounting but for tax for tax it has the law given for the condition of the depreciation calculation that it should not be over than uh, 100 divided by the percentage prescribed in the law so for example that uh, the tax allow for the furniture and fixture asset uh, depreciate at 20 percent per per accounting period but if the company have or the risk person have the policy to depreciate the, the furniture and fixture at the depreciation rate 50 percent so you can see that the accounting policy for the depreciation is over the criteria that tax allow for the depreciation so if we look into the detail uh, in, in the figure for example that the furniture cost is one, 100 baht it will be it will take two top two accounting period for uh, recognition of the expense for uh, accounting year one and year two in each of 50 percent in this case we assume that it has no salvage value but for the tax tax will be allowed to be expend just only 20 bar in each accounting period so when we make the computation in the in the accounting period one uh, depreciation in accounting is over the tax so we have to adjust the difference between accounting and tax for 30 bar by add back because uh, the number of the expense in accounting is too much okay and in the second year it's also the same one because it is record the expense at 50, 50 bar which over the, the amount which tax allowed to be expended in that kind of depreciation for 30 bar 
for in the uh, the third year and the fourth year and the fifth year in accounting since it is fully depreciated so, so in the accounting it has no uh, no depreciation expense but tax it is allowed for the expense for 20 baht each so in the computation of the corporate tax liability or the corporate tax computation of the year, uh, year three year four and year five we can uh, deduct the expense at 20 baht each you can see that the difference in year one and year two total of 60 baht it will be recognized as the expense in the car of the tax for 20 baht each in each year this will be the mechanism of the calculation in the corporate income tax for the for the effect of temporary difference this is the the way of the calculation in corporate tax okay year one assume that it has income expense for the depreciation 50 baht so accounting profit will be here so we add the 30 baht and get the taxable profit and year two is the same for year three year four and year five no depreciation in accounting so net profit for accounting will be this number we can minus or deduct off subtract this depreciation to get the taxable profit in each year for year three year four and year five this is the mechanism of the timing difference